So my name is Pablo Garcia Radbock and I work at the University College London. So I'm interested in studying the function of uh, TREM2, which is an immune gene uh, that was recently identified uh, as a risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. Um, it's a very rare risk factor, but important risk factor because it increases your chance of having, uh, getting Alzheimer's disease um, substantially. And what I'm trying to do is to study the function of this uh, TREM2 protein using stem cell technology, human stem cell technology. Um, so we have um, we programmed skin cells from patients that have a uh, faulty TREM2 copy. These uh, stem cells can be um, transformed into immune cells, and these immune cells can then be studied in the dish. And you know, the hope is that uh, this will tell us about processes and pathways that uh, are important in the development of Alzheimer's disease in order to develop new therapies against new targets that. I hope to identify by doing this work. Also, TREM2 is found in immune cells in the body um, and also in the immune cells of the brain. And it is actually found at very high levels in the brain. Uh, and it seems to act as a dampener on immune cells. And if that dampener is gone or doesn't work properly, then these uh, immune cells may go rogue. It may be that immune cells where TREM2 does not do its job uh, properly uh, become overactivated, which then damages uh, the brain rather than protect it. I think it, it is already a key area and it will, it, it will um, continue to be a key area and I think the most important area in Alzheimer's disease uh, research uh, because so many genes have been identified that um, you know, are highly displayed in immune cells, you know, including the brain.